Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to speak about the instance operator. The instance operator allows us to check if an object is of a specific type. It returns true or false according to the, the result. So for example, here I've got a variable named user entry and I'm grabbing um, the entry through the input function. And then what we want to check if um, if user entry is an object of the string class. So we can use the is, is instance operator to achieve that. So let's go ahead and give this a, a test. So I'm just going to say, um, is it a, I'm just going to ask a question, uh, is it a string? And then because that is in, instance uh, actually returns true or false, then um, we will, um, we will use it. So is uh, is instance. So I've got the is instance. Now the first the first one is just going to be the object that we're trying to compare, and then the other one is going to be the type, the other variable. So uh, this the object over here is our is our string, uh, user entry, and the class where the string belongs to is called str. And so let's give this a run. So test is it a string and it gave us true. Now if I if I do the same, but here we check if it is an object of the integer class, then we just need to change the class over here instead of a string to an int. And then for the float, so here we're gonna check if this is if this object is of type float, we just type in float like this. And so obviously everything is going to be false because well, only one of them. So this this object is of type either um, if it's a string, then it's definitely not going to be. Oh, I should have changed the message. Uh, if it's a string, it's definitely not going to be an integer. Is it a float? So. Um, so for this purpose, we are getting uh, the, the false uh, for the obvious reasons. Now, uh, if, if I wanted to test um, user entry um, and, and make that an integer, so all I need to do is just convert that into an integer. And now my data type or our data type of user entry is actually um, a number. So this way we get, is it an integer? And this one becomes true and the others are are false because they can't be both anyway. And then uh, we can test it with float as well. Uh, so let's do that. And I'll comment this out. So let's comment it out and give it a try. Over here, we're going to use the float function. And now I'll type in 2.2. .2, so that becomes true. So I hope this helps you um, learn how to use the is instance operator. And I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.